Hello guys, I'm going to do a bit of a different one today. I'm going to be reviewing these things. Um, brand new Death Grips by DMR Bike. Yeah. yeah. So straight out of the box there. They probably weren't as wide as I would have thought, but it doesn't really affect them too much. Because, like, I'm pretty small. I have tiny hands. So that's, that's okay. I mean, it also means like, I put, I put the bars a bit wider, so it's not, it's not too bad in there, really. But, um, the, I got the uh, size thick and soft with the flange. Personally, I like the um, flange on there, because I uh, just want to know where their flange is. You know, we're going to need to reposition it while I'm in the trail, but, um, yeah. But, there's a lot of grit up on this the diamonds and yeah that's good and also the bottle I'm really happy I should be like having to do this really good but yeah that's nice I don't know how these fish are really nice, but they're really soft, but they're very good. They're just set kind of things. They're, I like them for the inner part of the pan, because they're a lot softer. A lot of the time I find this part gets really red and still after a long run. I'm just gonna get a tap and stuff. So, yeah. Back it up a little bit. Okay, so also this is my bike, and yeah, it's gonna be a diff very different video today. So, this frame is a Merida 140 2020 model, uh, it's a Merida 140 400, most of it's stock, other than tyres, uh, rear wheel a new wheel and hub and that and it all's obviously because it comes crap. The drop is unfortunately broken. I wouldn't recommend this one right once in a bit. See, obviously new grips I just showed you. But yeah, let's go through the components now. So first we'll go in the cockpit. Um so we've just got the stock Merida bars and stem. And yeah we've got the death grips on it obviously. Um, brakes, I have a Shimano, I think, uh, I can't remember exactly, but Sh Shimano, um, I drove brakes, and, uh, yeah, uh, Strain, SX, Shifter, yeah, that's good, um, but, uh, let's see, it's gonna be 0, 300, I'm gonna get no, it's gaming, um, uh, fork, we've got a SR Sunto Aeon fork, which is actually, it actually runs really well for a Sunto fork. And um, I've actually been quite pleasantly surprised by it. It's pretty good, it comes with a bolt on mud guard, which is good. And yeah, I'm currently running the uh, same stock disc as well as the uh, hub. Well, the center lock, um, same with the wheel, I have the same, same green stock motor. So I do have a, um, currently a shim uh, specialized tube in there, and that works really nice. But I'm running a um, Maxxis acid dry tile, 3C Max Grip, uh, the tube, it's tubeless only obviously, but I don't currently run tubeless, and double down, so yeah. That's good, and up rear yeah, I'm running a Maxxis Dissector. Yeah. Um, it's obviously Troy Brosnan's signature tyre, so yeah, I'll have to turn it a bit. There's Max Grip, to obviously tube side as well, and double down, so it's still pretty simple the front. But yeah. Hub, it's a Shimano NT500. I came with the wheel that I bought because my other hub was stumped. So, 
Yeah. Um, that's the bomb page of that. I should have two people pump attached to it. And yeah, um, but anyway, it's us on to the UN area. Or UN area. Uh, which is, which is pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have much in the way of progression, but. I mean, it, it does the job. So, I like it. Um, that's it. And no G. Gontraga. Um, pedals. I will anger anyone, but. Yeah, and uh, I got a SRAM dub. <laughs> uh, boom bracket, yeah, it's quite noisy actually. I'm not sure why. Sham, push tank, running train car, cranks, uh, sham chain, sham set, and a sham SX driver. And that works real well. And yeah. Uh, I know about like, travel and stuff. This is, it's got a Mario 140, so. It has 140 mils, mils of travel in the rear and 150 in the front. And um, yeah, I guess that's my bike.